What's up, everybody? It's Nelda Golden I'm giving you another reaction video. This one is the most anticipated, well received. I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ruby Volume 7, Episode 4, titled Pomp and Circumstances, or Circumstance. I, last time we left off, we had the Aesops, and we saw how amazing they worked, and that fight sequence was great. It was fantastic. And we had Team Ruby, Team Juniper. They were like, they were trying, in a sense, they were trying to impress the Aesops. We had a moment between Crow and Clover where it seemed like how they're going to have it is Clover be the one who lets Crow know that not all bad things happen just because he's there. I, see, I feel like they're going to have that good and evil aspect going. But right now, we got to get into this episode. I need to see what they got, what Rooster Teeth has for us. So without further ado, definitely make sure to go like, comment, subscribe if you guys want more Ruby reactions, more Ruby content. I do have some other content lined up for you guys. One of them is relating to Jean, and I think the other one might be related to Crow. But right now, we're going to get into this. We're going to start this in three, two, one, go. Okay, so it looks like this is right after the Geist mission. There's Amity. Who in the hell are they? It looks like one girl's a Faunus, but who the heck are they? Squad. Ah, oh, I forgot that Lily just got done watching them fight. That guy's without needing to plan your tactics out, you just knew exactly what to do. Well, Aesops are handpicked to perfectly complement one another, so we can focus on our assets and leave our liabilities behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> What? Yeah? Think I've got some liabilities, Elm? Your brains, for one. <laughs> 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 I feel so bad for Morrow sometimes. Hi! Do you need a new best friend? Our pair name can be... <laughs> Perfect complimentary teamwork. Oh, yeah. I want to have my friends back just like that. Friends? <laughs> This isn't the schoolyard, kid. Nora is just but stiff. I mean, when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? 
We get along well enough, sure. I count on them to keep me alive. They do the same. But that's a job. We don't confuse the two. Speaking of the job... Duty ever beckons. You all hang back a second. What you guys I feel like there's an exception for Ruby and the rest of them, though. I feel like the Aesop's, like like uh, Clover said, they were hand selected, so they probably didn't know each other before being in the Aesop's. But Ruby, the rest of Team Ruby, Jun Team Juniper, and everything, they all pretty much went to school together, known each other for years. So I feel like there's an exception. Hey, heads up. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. You too, Crow. I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. And Clover, don't take Marrow. <laughs> Why they gotta do Marrow like that? I actually like Marrow. More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking up public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Ah, uh, so he actually died, man. Rooster Teeth, why did y'all have to do that? I actually liked his character. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. He died? Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? I'm not really worried about my public image, but it is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. And it's working. Well, if it wasn't for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. John. John. Sir. <laughs> no, no, you're right. I like the fact that John's speaking his mind, though. Hard to manage lately. If I'm being honest. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Already? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. I'll deal with him myself. Who? More Mantle problems? No. Ah, uh, nah, that, that's a Schnee problem right there. That That's... That's Jacques, isn't it? So let me get this straight, James. In addition to this nonsensical embargo of yours crippling my business, you've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never- Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Damn, shut vote. down. You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Now, I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... You. You wrote my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. There we go. Why stand up to your dumbass dad? Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. I know exactly the kind of man you are. How dare you speak to me that way? I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Shock? There we go. Anybody playing with your ass? You can't do nothing. You know, your mother was devastated when you left. Ah, uh, you, you a bitch. You, this dude is a whole bitch. Like I don't. She's upset. I knew one day you would overextend your reach. I didn't come here to beg for a Why do I want Jacques to die? Like I don't I don't want Weiss to go through losing a father, but why do I just want him to die? Handing me the noose to hang you. You'll regret this. 
So these are the little friends you threw everything away for. I mean, you're the one you pretty much kicked her out of the Schnee family. A family that you married into. I literally have no idea how the wife let that happen, but maybe blinded by love? I have no freaking idea. Oh, now you show up, Winter. You just missed father. I wouldn't say I missed. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, so you're literally just certain. able to do. You're just able to. Apparently, okay. Apparently, we haven't. Start what? It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. It's only fitting that we should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs to be brought together more than ever. The road you traveled for What's going on? Meeting hasn't been easy. You fought for your school and your friends at Beacon. You fought for the world and the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. You face down terrors people can't even fathom. That's not the behavior of students. It's the behavior of huntsmen and huntresses. They're getting their license. Oh, wow. Wait. What is this? You are being granted your huntsman licenses today. I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but brothers know. Even though they're getting granted, it kind of seems anticlimactic given like the gravity of the whole situation and everything that we now know. We were honored. General Ironwood, but you really don't have Please. to do Please, with the threat of Salem still out there and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more. I mean, don't get me wrong; they're definitely as skilled as. I should be so lucky. They're definitely more skilled than your average huntsman or uh, uh, huntsmen or huntresses, okay. but it's this is. Moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? It really does, like like I said, it really does seem kind of anticlimactic given like the gravity of the situation. And face down whatever comes at us after that together that's just about all the pomp I have in me if you'll excuse me I have to get back to running this operation um, well then enjoy the cake enjoy the cake your speech outros are improving sir after everything we've been through I almost forgot this is what I wanted in the first place exactly like fell I didn't think this would even be possible. It almost feels trivial now. Exactly. Lighten up a little. Enjoy yourselves for a change. You've earned it. Finally! Someone said it. Let's kill some cake, huh? Because I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? Okay, Nora, nobody's saying anything. With you about this. How, how there ain't no. Big day for you, huh, kiddo? It's definitely a lot to take in. Which part? The finally getting the Atlas part? Getting your license part? Or the not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part? <laughs> or all of the above? <laughs> all of the above. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Is it, uh, if I'm no different the, from Oz. The trailer. Ruby, Oz only trusted himself with the whole truth. You're trusting others, but you're making sure they prove themselves first. I think that's a pretty big difference. I hope so. This says I'm a huntress now, but I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. <laughs> That feeling never goes away. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Her last mission. Was that another Oz secret? Hmm. There were a lot of those back in our day. But this one was a Summer secret. When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself and your father. Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done? 
If she learned the truth about Sam, I love this crow and Ruby moment, honestly, right now. This is a perfect Pressed on, I think. moment. Like you. She was always the best of us. A bit of a brat, though. But hey, I like brats. <laughs> hey, oh. Crow's Ruby's dad confirmed. <laughs> That's how you piss off the Ruby fandom. Oh my gosh, is that a mission board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we ride a Mega Life? Stop an underground crime ring? Do I get to go undercover? Maybe. Hey, Since when was Ruby know? able to pick up Penny like that? Smells like fresh meat. That's odd. I don't smell meat. Neither do I. I always said Ren and Vine have similarities. Let me get this straight. You've only been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work? To be fair, we've been official for a whole 57 minutes. I'd like to remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. True, but we can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. <sighs> the enthusiasm of youths! Well, <laughs> Elm is freaking hype. Okay. Let me show you how it works. Ooh, here's an important one. Who wants to volunteer? All right. We need someone to escort children to pre-primary school down in Mantle. There's not actually any danger, but the parents fret, and that attracts Grim. Perfect. Thanks. Why was your hand still up, John? Juan, Jim? Close enough, I guess. <laughs> wow, my first Huntsman mission. Next, a massive saber is loose in the mantle sewers. We need two brave warriors to flush it out. Oh. Hey, hey, but, but why didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> <laughs> why they gotta do Jean like that? Father, you um have a visitor. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Why did you let them in? I didn't. He let himself in. A spitting image of you. This I knew it would be Watts. Oh my God! Your effect, Arthur. Whitley, leave us. He knows him by. He knows him by name. I said, shut the door. I... You're supposed to be dead. That is what I wanted people to think. You're right. However, I've heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely, that you have an ironwood problem. <laughs> that bastard is costing me more money every day with this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake? And eat it too. Oh my god. Dad's going to be working with Watts. That, I already kind of figured that. B.O. Rooster Teeth. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Why did y'all have to kill Homie though? He was actually like a good character. They could have like... I don't know how... Um, whether Robin Hill plays nice or anything like that, but he could have been like a messenger between Robin Hill and Ironwood or something like that, or Robin Hill and Ruby and the gang and everything. Like, did he have to die is what I'm really saying. And then I'm so glad that wife stood up to her dad this time, but I really wanted like more. I wanted... I don't know why I want him to die. I really don't know. It's not like he's not the worst character that I've seen in the show at all. Like, not even close, if I'm being honest. But, like, I don't know why I want him to die, though. I don't want Weiss to go through losing her father because I know that even though she does not like her father, she still sees him as father. So, like, I don't want her to go through losing a father. But why do I want him to die? And why do I think if he dies, he's going to wind up being all apologetic and everything. And then why is going to make wife feel even worse? Like, I, I don't know. Them getting their huntsman and hunter's licenses. Um, like, like they said, it's kind of trivial at this point because they've been through so much. They've been through way more at such a young age than anyone 
had to go through before getting their license. And at this point, especially knowing everything about the gods being real, Salem, Oz, magic, everything, like the whole grand scheme, it really does seem like a trivial thing because whether they were huntsmen or huntresses or not, it wasn't going to stop them from doing what they needed to do. And I'll admit that it came as a shock, but like I said, it was kind of anticlimactic because of the fact that it's not really something that matters anymore, in a sense. But another another great one by Rooster Teeth. Hopefully I can get this up to you guys today. If not, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. Definitely before the next episode drops. I'm going to see you guys next time, next reaction video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Definitely make sure to go some, show some love to Rooster Teeth. They'll be in the description down below. And I'm out. Peace.